<laughs> What's that? Are you cold? <laughs> 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 was that the fight that you were expecting? Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, of course, I want to go out there, cause chaos, cause ruckus. But I mean, I just came off a world title loss, honestly, and I got I got I had to put that behind me and start the baby steps uh, going forward again. And a guy with like Henry, I mean, you guys seen he hit me? He hit me on the spot and it dropped me. He hit, he hit me harder than uh, Pitbull, and I and I feel like I took Pitbull's hardest hit. And uh, I think Corellis hits a lot harder. And uh, I mean, look at him when he missed. He fucking went flying into the third row. <laughs> so I mean, he he was definitely looking to take me out. So was I, you know. But you got to pick and choose when you're going to do that. Yeah, I was going to ask me how hurt were you? I mean, he, he, was, he was throwing hard out there. I think I have a great uh, um, job of recovery, and that's due to Cub Swanson always, <laughs> and uh, TJ Dillashaw dropping me on my ass, but um, no, uh, in all fairness, yeah, he, he hits hard, and I, and I was hurt. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say I wasn't. He, he rocked me, and uh, I, I had to keep moving forward and stick to the game plan. I heard my corner yell, I'll stay disciplined, and I was just like the uh, time I was cornering uh, Cub. I know he wanted to let go and let loose more on Gracie, but, you know, we we have a job to do as well and um, you know it's our future and our and, and our babies that we're providing for. Yeah, no doubt. Concerns about the score at all? Were you guys keep you know do you guys do that kind of stuff? Um you know what I, I... I, I just knew if I stayed to my game plan, I, I, I would let it play it out. Uh, I was going to believe I believed 100% in the game plan with my coaches. And win or lose it, it didn't matter. I knew I stuck to the game plan and I did what they wanted me to do. And I, I want to make my coaches and my teammates proud of me. Yeah, last thing for me, what does make sense for you going forward? I mean, again, you're a guy that can fight in multiple divisions. Yeah. And, you know, this featherweight belt's tied up for a little while. The Grand Prix's going yeah. on. So, what, I mean, what makes well, sense? Well, that was the thing taking this fight with Henry was being the alternate, uh, securing my alternate spot for the tournament. Um, I knew that the winner out of this one I mean me and him could have fought Pitbull either or you know vice versa so um, you know that was first and foremost making sure I secured my um, alternate spot in the and the featherweight Grand Prix and then uh, now going forward it's all comers are welcome you know well, it was a pretty back and forth fight uh, between the both of you. What do you think was the difference maker in there that got you the victory? I think sticking to my game plan and showing the um, how how um, how much I'm progressing on my feet. That I'm seeing punches come in and I'm still uh, building and I'm I'm gonna be better and I'm gonna go back to knocking people out and putting them on the back of their head. And uh, but you know what? Um, I just think I stuck to the game plan and did what my coaches needed to, and I believed 100% in it. Juan, did his takedown surprise you, and how much did it piss you off? Uh, no, not at all. You know, I went for something big there, and uh, you know what? I was like, all right, if, if he's in that deep, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to cheap shot every, every way I can and get the little points that I need to. I'll give up a takedown because for years, Cub Swanson told me I'm one of the best scramblers. Don't be afraid to expose yourself because you could always scramble and work your way back up. Did he do anything that surprised you? Oh, I knew. I mean, he he beat five of my teammates. Uh, that weighs on you, you know. He was five and zero against all my teammates. You know, if, if, if uh, the fans they don't understand uh, what kind of psychological damage that could do to you going into the fight. And so, you know, nothing that I did surprised me. I just knew that some of my teammates had let, had abandoned the game plan and tried to go brawl out. And uh, and I needed to make sure I, I stuck to my game plan. Last one for me. How soon do you think you're ready to go again? And do you have your eyes on anything? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go into the next to the next uh, um, event. You know. I'm I'm ready to go. Uh, I got a few things I got to look at. I know uh, we collided heads a couple times, and I took a shoulder or uh, head to the shoulder. I just think it's bruised, um, but you know, probably broke my plate again in my hand. But the plate's been, uh, you know, acting up. But uh, you know, I'll get those checked out and I'll reassess, and then my manager Tiki will go to work on getting me on the next event. Well, and you mentioned the fans. You had a little message for the fans on the cage after the fight. I mean, what does it feel like when you're giving your all, and all of a sudden all you're hearing is boos? Yeah, it's good. I mean, they're here. They're here because they want to be entertained, right? And you know, I promised them entertainment. You know, I'm not gonna lie, and I wanted to, but you know, got sense talked into me. You know, I'm I'm not gonna go out there and be, uh, you know, as much as I wanted to create chaos. Like, once again, um, I had to stick to the game plan to get the win, and that's what's most important because it's not, you know, th that's what that's what provides for my three little kids and making sure my daughter is um, secured and 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 I could pay for medical bills that come up uh, with her injuries that she has. And, you know, uh, you had your corner there. You also had TJ close by young. And you had your family who were pretty audible telling you to jab mm -hmm. all the time. How much of that can you hear? And how much? Oh, that yeah, all of it. They're, they're, they've been in my corner since day one. Everyone that was there you, that you heard, that I heard, um, we, it's a family. It's not a team. It's a family. And uh, we all, we're all in this together. We're all 100% in this together. It's love. It's respect. It's, they all want to see me rise back to the top, and we're going to do that.